What's up everybody, it is I, Hero of Angel, and welcome back to the Forest Cup. This is another deep dive, but today we're doing something different. We're doing a versus deep dive. It's gonna be a Drum Pluff versus Sunny Cherim, which is the much better grass type side grade. Currently, Drum Pluff is number 17 overall in the Forest Cup, and uh, Sunny Cherim is number 36. Uh, Drum Pluff is number 5 for the grass types, and uh, Sunny Cherim is number 9. And we're gonna compare and contrast their matchups to Ferrothorn, the number one grass type in the Forest Cup. And currently, after balancing my Patreon's teams over the weekend, I am convinced that that is definitely the best grass type in the entire Forest Cup. But will that change today? Do these two fluff balls have anything against the steel grass monster Ferrothorn, or are they just a fad? Are they just pollen in the wind? Here one moment, gone the next, blown away by the savage winds of the Forest Cup. Let's find out together, starting with the grass type matchups. And as you can see, Sunny Cherim, a little bit too spicy for the grass types. Sunny Cherim, aka Little Fireball has them all clean. And just a little bit of matchup mastery here, Sunny Cherim has both Ferrothorn and uh, Meganium straight Weather Ball Fire, but for Cray Dilly, you have to go straight Solar Beam, which is pretty epic. Get beamed. Now going back to the graphic, Jump Love still has Meganium plus Sunny Cherim over there, so it beats Sunny Cherim. But I would say that that is not as important as beating the number one Forest Cup grass type, Ferrothorn, which is on all the teams that I've balanced so far. It's on every single team that has been sent to me, even um, the ones on Twitter that it, they just ask me for my advice, and also on uh, Messenger, they just they have Ferrothorn there. Everybody has Ferrothorn there, so I am convinced that Ferrothorn is the most important matchup in this uh, part of the graphic. So, Sunny Cherim, aka Little Fireball coming out on top. Moving on to the bug types, the most important bug type you have to cover on your team is Galvantula, hands down. Hands down, the most important one, the one that has the best coverage. But Crossel and Scoldipede, not impossible. Trust me, I think uh, two out of the teams that I balanced out of like maybe like 15 to 20 teams that I looked over uh, the weekend had Scoldipede. And that's interesting. And I think just one team had Crossel, but it was it was looking pretty good. But it's not impossible to see them in your tournaments, especially now that we're hosting international uh, tournaments. So yeah, you have to be prepared. So obviously, Ferrothorn has the two of these guys beat, but Jump Bluff not looking too bad to be honest with you galvantula the most important thing there scoldipede none of them have a chance crossel is playable playable and this is a very nice addition to jump Bluff's arsenal jump Bluff's not looking bad not looking bad cherry miss not spicy enough for the bug types. Now the water type coverage is looking like Jump Bluff is equal to Ferrothorn, but Ferrothorn can beat Mantine clean if you don't block the first thing, right? With Mantine versus uh, Jump Bluff, it's not the same. It's not the same situation. This is really a playable match. Unfortunately, this would be massive if Jump Bluff could beat uh, Mantine, but it can't. Plus, Mantine has two chances to get the Bubble Beam Shield Bait, right? So you can go Bubble Beam Shield Bait. Oh, he didn't block. All right, cool. Go for another Bubble Beam Shield Bait before throwing the Aerial Ace for the kill. You're probably gonna get that Shield Bait, right? It's two chances. Uh, plus, it's a tournament type situation, so people are gonna be pressed so they're most likely gonna shield so I don't think this is really a possibility for jump bluff now with a ferrothorn trick just don't block the first thing and then block the second thing whatever it is it'll work out because uh, Manti needs to get that shield bait on the bubble beam on the first throw right so just don't block it you're good so it's a clean panel for ferrothorn so ferrothorn taking the top spot here but uh, jump bluff taking a second but it's not good enough if it could get Get that Mantine matchup, that would be massive. It's definitely not good enough um, to face off with Ferrothorn in this aspect. But definitely not as bad as Lil Fireball here, which is a playable match against Swampert. And this is a disgraceful thing for a mud boy to beat a grass type that is absolute heresy <laughs> and then to compare and contrast jump bluff here can tank it it can tank it take it to the face purple jelly right in the nostrils and <laughs> save you the shield 
you can say one shield behind because you can tank that sludge wave, all right? One shield behind if uh, small bird blocks once, no need to block if small bird blocks twice, then block once. Fire type coverage. Yes, people with bad eyesight, they're all losses. They're all red, yes. And yes, all of these Pokemon are somewhat colored red, except for Typhlosion, yeah. Um, so, if this was a contest of who was the worst versus the fire types, it would be Ferrothorn, all right? So Ferrothorn takes the top spot at being the worst uh, versus the fire types because very farmable uh, for Blaziken, for Sunny Gas Form there, and uh, you know, the other two, not so much, which is a little, is that better? Is sure, I guess. And finally, electric type coverage. And once again, little fireball coming out on top with the clean panel, which is really nice because I think that all three of these Pokemon you might encounter in the tournaments. They will definitely be present. Now, this is a massive win for Cherim. Massive because Ampharos, the only reason why it's there, the only reason why I think it's important is it's the electric type that can kill some grass types, right? Specifically, Ferrothor in there and uh, Cray Dilly. Now, I want to reinforce your knowledge of the coverage by highlighting the highlights, but just know that there's gonna be analysis after, and you should definitely stay for it, right? It's very important, right? So, we're gonna start off with uh, Sunny Cherim here, which has uh, the best grass type panel, clean winds all around, and also the best electric coverage with a clean panel. Now, Cherim's relationship with Ferrothorn is that for the things that Cherim does, it does it so much better compared to Ferrothorn, but Ferrothorn has some pull, some some coverage, right? So with the grass types, obviously Cherim here taking a massive advantage over uh, Ferrothorn. And then going back to the electric type coverage, Cherim once again has the advantage, but this time I guess not too much, uh, just Ampharos, all right? Now with the things that Cherim fails to do, Ferrothorn comes out on top and jump bluff unfortunately at a second place right so for the uh, bug type coverage obviously ferrothorn has the much better coverage and then with the water type coverage once again with the uh, don't block the first thing trick Ferrothorn coming out on top over Jumpluff. And so Ferrothorn coming in on top with the overall amount of coverage that it gives you, that it brings to your team, it just covers a little bit of everything except for the fire. Except for the fire, of course, but I mean, these guys, what do they really do? Lose less, but they still lose. And also comes out on top with a couple of the elements, bug types, water types, Ferrothorn has that. And I want to stress, I want to emphasize how absolutely important it is in the meta because of this one Pokemon, Kingdra. If you watched uh, my deep dive on Kingdra, I actually gave it uh, both, both Octazooka debuffs, it wins, all right? If you watched my deep dive on Kingdra, you know that it's dangerous, not because it covers so many different Pokemon clean, it's got like this massive uh, coverage uh, counter, right? It's, it's got like a hit list, no. It's because there's very little counters to it that provide you really good coverage. And that is exactly what Ferrothorn gives you guys. Massive coverage. Massive coverage. You know this by now, right? Plus a clean win against Kingdra. Now, I suggest that you still have two uh, clean counters to Kingdra, but it's hard. It's hard to fit in, let's say, Azumarill onto a team. It's, it's difficult. I, I've tried. If you really can't have two counters to this, I've actually you know, just approved or like said to a couple of my Patreons, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine because Kingdra probably doesn't really cover a lot of Pokemon on your own team. It's gonna be, you know, Octazooka Gamble, Octazooka Gamble, all right? Maybe it beats your Blaziken, Octazooka Gamble, and then you have Ferrothorn as your shield, right? But what if you don't have it? What if you don't have Ferrothorn? What if you went with Jumpluff? Then the Kingdra can pull off something like this. Right? It's a 50% chance to get this. 50% chance. The difference between 100% clean countered and 50% chance to win is actually pretty big. It's a little bit harder because you have to land the solar beam for you to have a chance. But if it gets that Octazooka debuff, it doesn't matter. It will survive. And so if you don't have a Ferrothorn, the people with Kingdra are going to look at your team. They're going to see no Ferrothorn and they're going to be like, 
I can beat that with Akatsuki debuff. I can beat that too. I can, I can do this. I can do this. And so long story short, the analysis, my friends, is that Ferrothorn is still the number one grass type in the Forest Cup. Cherim is actually a side grade to the Mud Boy Swampert because it can beat the electric types. It's a great electric type counter and it actually beats the grass type. So it's side grade, but it loses to the fire types. So, you know, Swampert, fire types, Cherim, you got it, you got it. And then Jumpluff is a lesser Ferrothorn that loses less to the fire side. I, I don't know what to say. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you learned something. Remember to leave a like, comment down below, which is cuter, Jump Bluff or Cherim. They're both so cute. Definitely beats Ferrothorn in the cuteness. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Ding that notification bell. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys.